Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. It's Saturday, it's monthly stock up haul. I have a huge grocery haul for you. I went to a new store, so I have lots of new food finds as well. So if you're excited for a massive stock up haul, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not and make sure your bell is turned on because I upload five days a week and Saturday is always grocery haul day. At the end of the grocery haul, I'll be sharing with you what's on my menu for dinners and the three recipes you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macro and calories, highly recommend, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, definitely coming over. Join us there. That's kind of how you can keep up with me day to day are all linked down in that description box. So we have a big haul. Let's jump in. <laughs> So here is this week's grocery haul. It was monthly stock up time, mainly because Diesel's medication needed to be picked up at Costco. So I went ahead and just did my Costco shopping. I also made my very first trip to Whole Foods and found some really good new food finds that I wanna share with you and also stopped at my local fries to grab the rest of my groceries. So let me show you what's in this week's grocery haul. So I thought I would do this week's grocery haul a little bit different. I'm actually going to hold up the products that I purchased, Show them to you guys and of course I'll put points on the screen as always let me know if you like this style or if you prefer that I just point and shoot at the items give you a close-up talk about the product let me know down in the comments which way you prefer maybe we can change it up in the future so the first thing I picked up were some hamburger buns we do want to have a burger night this next week I have some really good frozen Wagyu burgers in my freezer I have some turkey burgers so I grabbed a pack of buns for burger night powdered sugar because we were completely out we've actually been out before we moved and I just realized so I added it to my grocery list at Costco I bought the big pack of the organic stringles string cheese I don't know what it is about this cheese but it is super super good it's from the brand organic valley and you cannot beat the price at Costco speaking of cheese at fries they had buy one get one free of Tillamook so I grabbed the Mexican four cheese blend and the mozzarella these are for a couple of dinner recipes I also needed mascarpone cheese for my Sunday recipe you will see this recipe in Wednesday's what I eat in a day I'm pretty excited about it and in fact I've never purchased mascarpone cheese before it was actually over in the the fancy cheese section at fries fully cooked bacon this is just to make my life a little bit easier for this week's meal prep and the thick bacon was on sale so I grabbed that no surprise that I picked up the fiesta dip we love this this was actually the last one it was on sale for $2.99 it has a sell-by date of tomorrow but you can see that it's basically a seven layer bean dip we really really like this we dip tortilla chips in this and we actually have some tortilla chips left over in our pantry so I thought we could use those up with the dip. I was really excited to find this at Whole Foods. So this is the True Whip Skinny Whipped Topping. So it's basically light, it's pretty similar to light Cool Whip, but it has better ingredients. It is 25 calories for two tablespoons. They also had their traditional True Whip as well, but I wanted to try out the light. A fun new yogurt find at Whole Foods. This is from the brand Wallaby Organic, and this is the Lower Sugar Honey Yogurt. I've heard of Wallaby Organic, but I don't think I've ever purchased anything from the brand it has 120 calories I'll put the points here on the screen they had several flavors but I had to grab the honey it just sounds so good and then I picked up some Siggy's yogurt this is one of my favorite clean yogurts these are the simple ingredient Skyer yogurts there's 14 grams of protein and only six grams of sugar so I have the mixed berry the vanilla and the blueberry I also saw this Cleo bar and I've never tried this one this is the less sugar yogurt bar one gram of sugar and it's in the berry acai flavor it sounds really good it's 100 calories for the bar I think I'm going to have this for dessert tonight I again I've never tried the acai berry one I've tried some of the other flavors and they're really really good so I was excited to see this I will say that you can usually buy the Cleo bars at Walmart for a dollar or a dollar fifty a piece and this was $2.49 at Whole Foods two seasoning packets that I've never seen before also found at Whole Foods first is the Siete which is a nice clean brand of 
seasoning or product in general. This is the slow cooker spice for carnitas. We have lots of steak in our freezer from Butcher Box, so I thought that I would make up some carnitas in my slow cooker. And then creamy dill dip. We have lots of vegetables as well, and this will be a great way to enjoy those vegetables. Plus, I thought this would be really good on those chicken patties that I made in last week's meal prep. Jimmy Dean fully cooked sausage crumbles. This is for my breakfast meal prep. I can't wait to share with you guys at the end of the grocery haul what's on my menu for meal prep on Monday. 1% milk for Troy. I've been buying him a gallon of milk every week. He also asked for Eggo waffles. So these were on sale for $1.99 a box, which I thought was a pretty good deal at Fry's. So I went ahead and grabbed the home style. No sugar added barbecue sauce because we left ours behind when we moved and I am making a barbecue recipe in Monday's meal prep. So the Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory, no sugar added. Here's a sauce I was pretty excited about to find at Whole Foods. I thought that I could incorporate this in a stir fry or over chicken or really over anything. And this is the 365 Organic Peanut Sauce. What I thought was interesting is there's only 30 calories in a tablespoon of this. So one point, maybe two points per tablespoon. I thought that was a great deal and I love peanut sauce. We also left our honey behind when we moved and this was an incredible deal at Costco, $9.40. And this is the Arizona Raw Unfiltered Honey. Troy's very, very favorite pasta salad was back. This is seasonal at Costco. They only have it in the summertime. So as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to pick it up. It is a tortellini pasta salad with little balls of mozzarella, tomatoes, and salami. I've mentioned before, I don't really care for this salad, but he absolutely loves it. In the freezer section at Whole Foods, I found the 360, which is the Whole Foods brand, of the organic sprouted wheat and honey oat bread. I've really been wanting to reintroduce sprouted bread into my life. It's much better for your gut, your gut bacteria, your body processes it better. So when I saw this in the freezer section for only $3.99 on sale, I definitely added it to my cart. Toilet paper, a absolute staple for any Costco run. The Downy Unstoppables were on sale for $13 for this huge one. You pay that for a medium sized one at Target or Walmart. So I went ahead and picked up another one even though I still have a full one in my laundry room. Lots of stuff for the dogs. They actually had several things on sale. First were these Chew Master Steakhouse Beef Sticks. These are wheat-free, corn-free, soy-free, byproduct-free. They are made with grass-fed beef, which is awesome. And I remember seeing these last time I went to Costco, but they were $17. And they're currently on coupon for $11.99, which is an incredible deal. Also on coupon are the nubs. Palmer loves these. My dogs love these. These are great to keep them busy, especially when we have people over. And this was also currently on coupon. Not on coupon, but something we always have are these eight in one multi-benefit shoes for dogs. I bought these last time I went to Costco. We still have quite a few, but it'll be a month before I go back and I didn't want to run out. All three of my dogs take one of these every single day. They actually help with all of these issues, hip and joint, skin health, gut digestion, heart health, immune system, cognitive health, liver health, and urinary tract. So a great way, a great supplement for dogs. I couldn't pass these up. These are so cute. This is a set of four storage bowls with lids. So they're ceramic bowls, and I just thought the pattern on these was super, super cute. My mom actually gave me a couple of these types of bowls for Christmas, and I really like them. The lid has a little pop-up that you can suction on, so it keeps your food nice and fresh. I couldn't pass them up. New storage bowls for the new house. We also needed Kleenex, and Kleenex was on coupon at Costco, $13.99. I was also out of my makeup removing wipes. I use these pretty regularly to take off swatches when I'm filming on my beauty channel, or sometimes just to remove my makeup quickly, and they are an excellent, excellent deal at Costco. Bounce fabric softener sheets because we were just about out. Currently on coupon also, I think $8 for two huge boxes. I remember paying $8 for one box at Walmart. Also paper plates because we are completely out. Hashtag convenience. I have several rolls of Band-Aid tough cloth tape for Diesel. He still has an open wound on his leg, so we've been using the tape to put his wrap on his leg so that he can't lick it. And lucky for me, these were on clearance at Fry's for a buck 50 a piece, so I picked up six of them. A big bag of organic baked sweet potatoes from Whole Foods. These are perfect size for me just to throw in the microwave or 
air fryer or steam them up. They're small enough that I can eat the whole thing for a meal. And they were really affordable. $3.99 for organic sweet potatoes is a great deal. Also raspberries at Costco. I really liked having raspberries on hand these last couple of weeks. Some green onions for my meal prep as well as for salads. And some baby spinach. This is for my meal prep coming on Monday. And my favorite protein shakes. These are my all time favorite in coffee. It literally tastes like a Starbucks mocha and you get 30 grams of protein. I was excited that Costco had these because I heard in Arizona only Sam's Club carries Fairlife but luckily the Costco I went to had them. I also grabbed a few clothing items from Costco. I am going down in more sizes and moving to Arizona. I didn't have a lot of summery warm weather clothing so I went ahead and grabbed a few things that were on crazy sale at Costco. So first is this cute little t-shirt. This is Lucky Brand. It is a junior, so I went ahead and got an extra large because this doesn't look very big, and I thought that it'll probably shrink as well in the dryer. I think this was $9. And another thing I don't have a lot of are shorts. So I thought that these were really cute. These are Bermuda shorts. This is from the brand Hillary Radley, and this has a nine inch inseam. So they're definitely a longer short, which is more my style. I grabbed a large because they are somewhat stretchy. I almost got a medium, but decided to go ahead and get a large just in case. And then and lastly from the brand Mario Serrani in a size large I picked up these super cute capri pants they're basically like a black jean style capri and what I thought was really cute is they have a rolled hem at the bottom I want to say these were $11 which is a great deal and I did go ahead and get a large because there's really no stretch in these at all and I wasn't sure if I would be able to squeeze into the medium so I thought better safe than sorry and get the large there's also a case of Coors Light that Troy already put away in the garage fridge and that's going to make up my entire massive grocery haul from Whole Foods Costco and fries. Let's go ahead and jump into what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So here's what is on my dinner menu for the week. So today, Saturday, we're actually going out for dinner. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making meatballs with zucchini and mascarpone. I do have an Imperfect Foods order coming with some zucchini in it. You will be seeing this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. For Monday, I'm making Cheesy sausage puffs, these sound really good. Tuesday's leftovers, Wednesday is creamy Tuscan shrimp. Thursday is a burger night, which I'm also very excited about. And then Friday will be leftovers. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm actually making meat lovers breakfast pizza. This sounds so good. Pizza for breakfast, yes please. Lunch is going to be barbecue cups. That's what I picked up the barbecue sauce for. And then for snack, I'm actually making peanut butter balls. Another thing I'm super excited for. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes in meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's massive grocery haul. Costco, my first trip to Whole Foods and Fry's, which if you didn't know is a Kroger store. So it's the same umbrella as Kroger. I love the fries near my house. It's so nice and peaceful to go shopping there. Also, I hope you enjoyed seeing what's on my dinner menu for the week. And of course, stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. If you enjoyed this massive haul, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and make sure your bell is turned on because I upload five days a week and you never want to miss a single video. Don't forget to stop by that description box for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and come on over, join me on Facebook. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye.